The behavior of steel beams with triangular welded hollow flange. A study performed by Juan Bot, Juan Morginian, and Kalin Birdian. Steel elements can be improved, and this is a requirement due to the instability problems that, that occur in steel elements when subjected to compression. Therefore, built up elements which are custom created elements that satisfy, satisfy the particular needs of a structure increase the stability of steel elements. The idea is to delay the source of instability which uh, starts in the compressed parts of the cross-section. Mainly the common double T profile for steel beams uh, can be transformed if we stiffen the outstand compressed flange, creating in this manner a hollow flange. When subjected to in-plane load, double T profile have the tendency to buckle. The type of instability that occurs is lateral torsional buckling. The literature shows that the hollow flange beams, which was already studied, uh, have the tendency to lose the stability by lateral distorsional buckling, meaning that a part of the cross-section is not uh, in the same initial shape as at the beginning of the load. The subject of the study, the hollow flange beams with triangular plates, was created using 8 mm plate for the extreme parts of the cross section and 5 mm plates for the inner part of the cross section, meaning the inclined parts and the web, the vertical web of the cross section. The final specimen is presented in this figure. The test setup of the experiment is visible here. The beam is subjected to a four-point bending configuration with the load transmitted by 40 mm cylindrical steel rods, which were placed also on steel plates to distribute the loading in To distribute the load. The supports were considered to be pin at one end and roller at the other end being allowed for horizontal displacement. In order to keep the cross-section in the initial position, the fork configuration was also used for the support, which is presented in this figure. Also, tensile tests were performed on the base material, showing us that the 5 mm plates had a yield limit of 293 MPa and the 8 mm plates had a yield limit of 321 MPa. As a result for the beam, qualitative results can be presented in the failure mode, meaning that a lateral deformation of the beam was observed and also the local buckling under the load application point in the final stages of the experiment was, were observed. Quantitatively, a moment deflection curve was obtained for the capacity of this beam. The horizontal displacements of the top and bottom flange of the beam were also recorded. 
they are represented here with respect to time because on the classical moment deflection curve these two deformation cannot be observed very well therefore we use time on the horizontal axis and at some point it is observed that the top flange which is compressed starts to have bigger values than the bottom flange this value is observed at 110 kilonewton meters and by comparing or by looking at the moment deflection curve of the entire beam this value is um, coincides with the plastic response of the beam which can be seen here just like a regular uh, plastic deformation of steel if we want to determine the capacity of the beam by, by using the elastic modulus and the yield limit the yield limit of the 8 mm plates a 68.1 kN meter is obtained this value is represented here with a green line and by comparing to the or by comparing the moment deflection curve to the initial rigidity of the beam it is observed that the analytical determined moment of the beam is right at this value from this value the moment deflection curve starts to show a decreased rigidity which means that uh, plastic strains starts to develop in the um, cross section of the of the beam therefore the yield limit of the material and plastic strains should develop in the cross section of the beam the study showed that steel elements can be improved to address stability problems by creating enhanced cross section hollow flange delayed the lateral torsional buckling of the beam of steel elements steel beams and bearing resi resistance is attained by the hollow flange beam of course comparison to common double t steel profiles should be uh, performed in order to establish the amount of um, capacity addressed by the hollow flange of this type of beams thank you for the for watching this video